know if I'm allowed to share a spot with somebody. I, I just don't know the rules of the jungle yet. 944. Like, you know, I don't know what that number means. Do you have to pay the meter on the weekends? I don't know. There's a barber shop here. Is he any good? Does he do a good job? I don't know. Let's see what's going on with these potheads. Are you going to maybe one day get these in? Here's Green Sports of New Jersey. It's with a basketball that probably was recycled from an old dump truck. I'm going to have to come down here and start some trouble one night. You know, and truthfully and honestly, I happen to like the little tinny sound because I sound like an astronaut. I like sounding like an astronaut. Like a cosmonaut. Talking about space, they sent a bunch of geckos up into space so to see if they would have sex with each other. They didn't. They died. But what did happen, there were some fruit flies they sent up there too. And they decided to have a party and they multiplied. But there was holding those boys back. They multiplied in space. What knowledge, what knowledge would I get out of knowing that a bunch of geckos and flu fries can have sex in outer space? I was talking to my buddy Yankee the other day, actually yesterday, and we were talking about this dude that uh, wrapped a chain around his neck and then put the other end to a, to a pole right then got in his car and floored the car and the chain ripped his head off let me ask a question if you're gonna kill yourself right first of all you want you want up but you're gonna wind up in hell so don't ever think about killing yourself don't ever think about suicide it is definitely not the answer for anything because you know you you believe in god or you don't believe in god you know it's not even worth taking the chance of committing suicide because you're going to wind up in hell forever but why in the world would you kill yourself that way you know people have demons in them i don't think people can make stuff up like that on their own i want to end my life i'm going to tie a chain around my neck and then tie the chain to the pole, get in my Honda Civic, and then floor the engine and rip my own head off. Hey, I can't explain it. At home. Oh, look. It's a police officer on a motorcycle. That would make a pretty cool chase right now. Make a really cool chase scene in my video. Or may maybe even better if I was chasing him. That would even be more exciting is like he's trying to get away from me for some strange reason I know something I'm irritating him or something and I and he just can't take it no more and he's trying to get away from me that would be even a better chasing like I'm chasing him yeah these are the things that go through my mind yeah, I like that little turn over there little twisty going under the, the train trestle. I think I really love New Jersey. But my heart would always belong to Brooklyn. How real is God? How real is Jesus Christ? our Lord and Savior. That's what I get all the time. to find out how real God is <clears throat> and how real Jesus Christ is. Unfortunately, uh, most people find God through, uh, through pretty bad times. You know, loss of a loved one or being very sick or financial trouble and everything else. And, right? And then we usually, and some people, no, some people sometimes don't find the Lord that way. Sometimes they start really mocking the Lord even worse. And, uh, 
this situation just gets worse, right? But for the people that really seek out God, right? And I'm a true, uh, I have a true testimony, right? Of seeking God and things changing for you, right? Because they do, you know? So the question is, how real is God? All right. Now let's just say you're somebody listening to this video right now, and you're you're basically surfing around the internet, right? Because you're not going through a good time in life right now. So you're looking you're looking for God. You're looking for Jesus Christ. Right? You're looking for answers. You want to know if this thing is real. This is is this a real thing? Then I'm going to dedicate my life to it. it, it is this is this being that a lot of people think about and talk about and say it does miracles for them is he real am i going to invest all my time into finding this out right unfortunately most people invest more time in buying a television set than they do in trying to figure out if god's real or not right but the only way you're going to find out if God is real is you're going to have to you're going to have to hand yourself over, especially if you're a, a non-believer, because He's searching you out, and and you're going to understand a lot of these things that are happening to you in your life is to wake you up, right? And you know, and and bring you towards the Lord, you know, and and show you that you cannot withstand this world on your own, and and people who are like like I'm going back to the non-believers and. People are first looking for the Lord. That is when the Lord is the hottest with you. That is when you're going to see the most of His power in your life. Is when you start looking. When you first start looking. But you have to start. You know, if you don't start, He's not going to talk to you. You got to strike up the conversation. You got to knock on the door, and He's going to swing that door open, and His love is going to pour out on you, right? And you're going to and you're going to ask. You're going to ask for for forgiveness you're going to ask right for changes in your life you're going to ask for the lord to come into you and have mercy on you and help you and i guarantee you you are going to start seeing it right you're not going to see it jumping out at you but your eyes are slowly going to start opening that little shade, that, that haze we have over our eyes, that life, that this life gives to us, starts to clear, right? Your ears start to hear better, right? Things that are once coincidence are not coincidence anymore ever again, right? And when the Lord starts speaking to you, His voice is in you. It's not speaking at you. He is in you. And you start seeing and hearing. Right? So if you're going through tough times, and you're going through hard times, right? Whatever it might be in your life right now, the ball is in your court. And your, the ball is in your court, and it's on fire. Because you're a new member to his family, and he is going to sp spend extra, extra attention on you. He is, he is going to give you full attention to rattle your shells, right? Ask him. Get on your hands and knees in a, in a quiet place in your room or somewhere and, and ask him to put the Holy Spirit into you, right? And he will deliver. And you're going to feel it and the tears are going to start flowing, right? And it, it's it's a very emotional roller coaster when you're first going with the Lord because you start seeing that his miracles are starting to work for you and and things are changing little by little when sometimes they change drastically but when they start changing little by little you start you, you, you're going to start crying and and your emotions will be out of control and and that's the rebirth that's the rebirth of your soul right that's he, he's making you new again he's making you whole again and then you start feeling guilty and remorseful and, and feeling like you don't deserve anything like this in your life and you know how can he even love you when you mocked him for so long when you pushed him away for so long 
and now when you're starting to see that he's starting to he's starting to do miracles in your life and helping you through your life the emotions start flowing because you start feeling not wealthy or worthy of his love right but it's not a point of feeling worthy of his love right it's just that he loves to give it he wants you to have it he 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 he's dying to give you what he has you just have to go to him you just have to go to him right so is God real is God real God is so real it's he's more real than 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 the reality around you right just because you can't see him right just because you can't see the Holy Spirit right doesn't mean he's not there they're with you constantly they nag at you that's why these things happen to you and you got to remember you're going up against a very very evil evil spirit too that wants you to stay miserable wants you to stay by yourself and alone that's just what he wants right so he puts that in your mind that God's not real you know really you know think of something else you know but the Lord you're seeking does not exist and he puts this in your mind right you can't get out of any kind of trouble right but how can you get out of trouble by praying to something you can't see and this is what Satan will fill your brain up with right? I don't know what I'm saying this makes any kind of sense right I'm just driving around on a bike I'm just a, a normal guy that the Lord has helped tremendously in his life and I feel like I want to tell people about it and you know that all the suffering you're going to going through and and hardships you're going through right don't need to be as painful right we're gonna go through things in life you know and this is just this is life and this is God you know it might sound cruel or unusual but this is some sometimes little things in your life is what God puts there to keep you with him right to keep you you know because a lot of people go get over a hard time and then the next thing you know they're forgetting about God again but sometimes it puts it put a little little kick ass in your life here and there and, you know and you know and Satan would be there to tell you saying ha you see God doesn't care about you and he will be there to remind you of all that nonsense and everything but if you want to find out how real God is, right? Tonight, today, right now, get on your hands and knees, right? And just ask. Say, God, if you're real, God, if you love me, if you love me, Jesus Christ, right? If you love me, please show me you're real. Please give me hope. Please give me the hope that so many people have. And let me see it let me just see one little sign and I will be with you forever and put the Holy Spirit in me let me feel this Holy Spirit come into my life please Lord have mercy on me I will dedicate my life towards you I will show you the change of me I will show you how much of a person I could change and how much I can love you back Lord please take me please show me show this new believer of your power and your might and my friends I guarantee you you're gonna be very surprised God bless everybody